a balloon filled with hydrogen, attach a fuse to it, and explode it in the air. This is something that you never want to try to do because there's a lot of different ways that you can get hurt, which I'll kind of show as I go along here. Now, first off, I need some equipment to do this, which I've cobbled together from things I have in the garage. I need a bottle to have the reaction in. Now, the bottle is going to get extremely hot. So we're going to put that inside of a pan full of water to keep the bottle from melting or exploding while we're doing the reaction producing our hydrogen. Now, because the reaction is going to produce both hydrogen gas, which we want, and chlorine gas, which we don't, we're going to filter it through a water filter. The chlorine gas, which is caustic and poisonous, will be dissolved in the water, leaving us mostly hydrogen gas, which will give us better lift on a balloon, which we'll need to carry the, with the balloon with the wick away so it doesn't blow up close to us. Finally, we need some way of some tubing to connect the reaction bottle to the filter so the gases go through to the bottom of the water filter. Now, in the way of equipment, we need a balloon. This is dollar store 12 inch balloon, which I'm going to go ahead and put over the filter bottle where the gases will end up coming out. Now, for our wick, for our fuse, I'm going to use string. This is butcher's string, which I have braided together three pieces, about four inches long, so that I can, can attach that to the balloon. Now, to make it burn a little bit better, using paraffin oil, same oil used in oil lamps and what have you, candles. And I'm just going to soak that weak wick in there so that it will be ready to put on the balloon. Now to produce our gases, we're going to have a combination of aluminum foil and some hydrogen chloride. I found some toilet bowl cleaner with 20% hydrogen chloride. That's what we're going to put together to have our reaction. Now, you want to put the foil into the reaction bottle. All you do is, all I'm going to do is to tear off a couple squares of that, crumple it up a little bit, put that in so you get them all in there. You don't have to pack it down to the bottom. Uh, it'll dissolve down as it goes. Save a little time. I've already got a bottle set up with the foil in it. That goes into the water. Keep it from melting. Now, we're ready to add our acid into the bottle. Before we do that, a little safety precaution. Notice that we're in an open carport. I don't, I'm going to be producing explosive and corrosive gases. Don't want to do that in an enclosed area. Have some eye protection. Things may be exploding prematurely. You don't want to get hurt in that respect. Also, in case there's some flames around, I'm putting on a long sleeve shirt to protect my arms. In addition, I've got some heavy gloves in case I spill some acid or touch hot objects or something. I'm going to put a hat on in case something goes wrong. I don't want my hair to catch on fire. I've got handy fire extinguisher in case something does go wrong and my hat catches on fire or my neighbor's house catches on fire or something there will be some flaming debris involved so i've got that handy and finally i've got some clean water in case i get something in my eyes or my hands i can clean them off quickly all right without further ado i'm going to add about a quarter cup of my acid into the reaction bottle. Careful not to spill any on the edges. I don't want to get it in my hands. I get that in there. The reaction's going to start fairly quickly, so I want to seal up my reaction chamber nice and tight. Start to produce heat. Hold on to my balloon so that it doesn't uh, 
slip off. When I get to about 12 inches, I'm going to go ahead and take off the balloon. Before it explodes, I don't want hot gases on me. The action is slowing down. I'm about as big as I'm going to get. I'm going to go ahead and pinch that off. Alright, now what I'm going to do is just tie that off like you would any party balloon. So that my gas doesn't explode, leak out. As you saw, we suffered from premature detonation there. Had to go to a backup balloon. As soon as it gets a little bit darker, we'll set it off.